Everyone already knows how all this works, so let's just get into the video. Myth, go to train map and go to the bridge side and you will not fall. So, he is, like, right here? Uh, I'm not sure if he, he, he means this, I'm pretty sure. I thought this was going to be a little bit different. I want to try something else out. Wait, what? Okay, I didn't know you could stay down here. How far down can you go? This would be such a good place for hide and seek, actually. I don't know, one day I'm... I kind of want to host a live stream where I just play hide and seek with you guys. And whoever's last gets like a reward or something. Maybe Pixel Gun and I can set that up. That actually sounds really fun. Maybe just like a hide and seek game mode in general. That would be really fun. Yeah, uh, I wasn't expect. I thought it was like a little bit different of a myth, but I guess it's true. So let's go on to the next one. All right, the next myth is that uh, the cyborg hands, they glow in the dark. That sounds pretty cool. I got them right here. I have a few skins, or I have the one skin, or there's two skins, but I have one of them. And this is like the best map for it probably because, oh, look at that. Yep, they're glow in the dark. Not a lot of weapons are, I don't think, like this one's not, but it's just like the ones that have fire on them. Very cool. Uh... Yeah, I want to try out the skin now. I've only bought this one because I don't- I- I'm running out of gems. Pigskin was very nice and they gave me like 20,000. I've already spent it all. I just went on a buying spree, but now we're gonna see if these ones are glow in the dark. And I don't think they are. I think it might just be the original skin. Also, the rainbow skin is also glow in the dark. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's go ahead and get on to the next myth that was confirmed. All right, I kind of want to try out another myth that kind of has like spots that I can go to. This one says that there are like little places you can boost up to or use your jetpack on, and they're like platforms. So the first one that I want to try out is, uh, I think it's over here. And I think it's like, I think we're gonna have to use a rocket jump weapon, actually. He says you have, to, or uh, he used the gravity blaster. Okay, so I found one of the places. The first one is right here. This one doesn't seem to be off limits, but there's one over here that I wanna try out that he's floating on what seems to be nothing. I think it's this one right here, but I can't like, ah. <sighs> I can't seem to be, like, oh, I, I got it, I got it, okay. There's a small invisible platform right here. <laughs> okay, I, I thought you had to be, like, right in the corner, but I guess not. But that myth is confirmed. I think we're done with the uh, location myths. Tell me if you guys actually do want uh, to have, like, a hide-and-seek tournament thingy. I think that would be really fun, and it would bring the community a little bit closer, too, so... This isn't really a myth, but I kind of wanted to show you this. Apparently there is a bomb in the, a, a plane? On mainland airport? I'm not sure if this is intentional, but here's the picture and everything, so... I know a lot of people are probably going to get offended from this. I really don't know what to think about this. Uh, what do you guys think? Tell me if, like, in the comments section... If you think this is all right, or if it's a little bit too edgy. But we're going straight to the plane. Also, if you couldn't tell already, I'm going for like the full fire guy effect thingy. A lot of my weapons have like fire skins on them now. It's pretty cool. Oh, I thought I was in third person. I forgot that they added this. But yep, there's the bomb. It's right on one of the seats. I don't know what to think about this, but... It explodes. I'm not sure if it is a terrorist reference. I don't want to jump to conclusions or anything, but... Hmm. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comments section. The next myth is also on the Battle Royale map. Uh, there is a dinosaur next to the mushroom field in the Battle Royale map. Uh, it looks exactly like the dinosaur that we have as a pet, so that's kind of what brought me in. But if you look at his map, it's right above the top left corner of the mushroom field. 
I just want to see if you can like interact with him or if he attacks you or anything. Looks very cute. I, I love all the animals in this game. <laughs> I just love animals in general. Probably more than I like people. But I'm not, I'm not a furry, okay? Calm down. Okay, this is, bye, okay, bye. Looks like this whole area seems to be dinosaur based, which is really cool. Oh, there's like bones everywhere. I just don't play Battle Royale too often. I don't even really play Pixgun as much as I used to, so I miss out on a lot of these things, but you guys usually show me, which is very cool, but the dinosaur, oh, it's on the other side. I forgot to look at my map. Oh, oh, there it is. It's a lot bigger. Ah, oh, you can't kill it or anything, but can you jump on him? You can like ride him. He doesn't, he's a big dinosaur. He doesn't walk around, but he twirls. Very cute. Uh, let's go ahead and check it in third person now. I want to see this. Hopefully I don't get killed or anything. I saw another guy land here. I just want to check the proportions of this dinosaur. Just see how much bigger it is than the pet dinosaur. Oh, I got noticed. Is that the same guy? He's like the same height as us. Dang. Maybe just like car racing, we can have like animal racing. Kind of reminds me of Yoshi. <laughs> kind of. Oh no. Dinosaur, help me. Oh no. It's a sad day, but we get to die right next to my best friend. He, he, he just went in to stab it. <laughs> All right. This next myth. Oh, it's... Some I don't know why I haven't noticed yet because I've played this so many times, but the level question mark question mark question mark of world three is almost identical to the first level of world two. And this is world two. It's just got a bunch of trees. But what I'm really interested in is this house because you can find this house. It's basically identical. It's got like chairs and stuff. It's just all coated up and everything. So the rest of the map has a bunch of trees. These trees, we're going to compare them to the trees in the question mark map. So this map, I think this is a lot bigger or it's a little bit bigger. And also there are no other houses other than that one over there. But maybe you were sent back to this level right here or something like that. I don't know. It's just something to think about. But it's just weird to me because it's one full world away. Or like it's basically two worlds away. Because you have to finish the entire second one and the entire third one. But the trees, uh, some of them are super similar. I hate recording on this map because it looks terrible on my... You can actually see uh, the mushroom trees, the original box trees, and cactuses in like the same locations kind of. I found that really cool. I didn't even kind of notice it in the game for some reason. It looks terrible on my editor, but these trees were in the other one right there. And this hut also has two windows. Oh, it just looks terrible. I can't stand it. It has the same broken down chairs all over the place. I'm going to die, but it's worth it. Yeah, this hut is like the exact same. Maybe they used it as a blueprint, but that's just so cool to me. So we're going to say that this myth is confirmed. Of course, like maybe this right here would be the rocks. And then maybe over here would be more of the houses. But it's just, it's just super interesting to me because I played this game for so long and never noticed this. <laughs> okay, I really need to start focusing on smaller things because... <laughs> This next myth is that if you go to War of Toys and tap on Armory, the screen will show the outside of the map. Here's War of Toys. I just really like this map because I'm a big fan of Toy Story. But here's the outside of the map. Let's press on Armory. Tap on Armory. All right, nothing's happening right here, but we're going to go to the menu and do that. So we're going to stay in this, and then we're going to go into arm. Okay. Hmm. It was two weeks ago that this was commented. Okay, I, I'm really interested in this myth. So I kind of want to 
like retry it. So if you know what he he's talking about or how to do this, go ahead and tell me in the comment section. I really want to see outside of this map to see if it actually is Christmas Town. That's a cool car. But let's go ahead and get on to the next myth for now. All right, the next one really isn't a myth, but I kind of just wanted to bring this to everyone's attention. The prototype has eight bullets in its mag now, which makes it a lot better. Unfortunately, uh, I don't have any, like, I could upgrade it to legendary because this is, like, up there with my favorite guns ever. Just the original skin looks so plain. It looks so perfect, in my opinion. It's just... Uh, I just don't have any gems. Uh, but eight bullets? Compared to the uh, Prototype S that has six bullets, but this thing... I could upgrade to Mythic. It's just so hard. What do you think I should do? Should I try to make this thing the best sniper in my inventory? I already have my Rainbow Anti-Hero Champions rifle. I haven't upgraded I took all my modules out because I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but just tell me what, what, sh what should I do? I don't know. Hope you guys liked this week's Mythbusters. Sorry for not uploading very often. I'm going to try to upload a history of Pixcon 3D video where I just go back and play an old update or something. Should be really fun. I already have it all downloaded. I'm getting ready to record it. Should be out this week, hopefully. Hopefully. But yeah, thank you guys. I'll see you later. Voice the stress of falling out of end